Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year's. So today we'll be making this piece. Let's get to it. First thing you want to do is open a new file, as we just did. Some features to explain. You can here view your origins and your features, such as your constructions, your sketches, and your planes. Here at the bottom, you can edit your timeline. If you want to modify a feature or suppress it or edit it, you can do so here in this family tree. So let's get to it. First thing you want to do is you want to start with a sketch. And we're going to create a sketch on a circle. And once you have your sketch, you're going to use this as the base to create the star for Kirby's warp star. Once you finish a sketch for the base of the warp star, what you want to do is create the form of the warp star by extruding it. So let's go ahead and get to that. So once we have this star looking shape, then we can go ahead and work out the details of working out these angles by making a plane on them and sketching a profile and then extruding it. So let's go ahead and do that. And what that will accomplish is make the warp star edges very sharp. And there you have it guys. Once you make the star, which is the base of the warp star, making Kirby's actually pretty easy. So let's get to that. And so now what you want to do once you have once you have Kirby set up, what you want to do is be able to move these legs. So this is a leg and we'll be duplicating this leg to make the other one. And you just adjust it 
according to the angle and the position of the leg. And we'll be repeating the same thing for the arms. So let's go ahead and do that. And so once you have the, both the feet and the hands, then you can start working on the face and making the features for the eyes. And so now once you have the sketch of the face, what you want to do is create a surface offset and thicken it to be able to apply material properties later. So let's go ahead and do that. left to do now is apply material properties and colors customization so let's go ahead and do that Thank you. 
And there you have it, guys. So this is the design. If you want to now, you can go ahead and render it. This is how the object looks when it is rendered in the studio. We can customize the settings. So we just rendered it right now. And you, as you can see down here in the bottom, there's a queue for rendering. In the meantime, what we did is we captured an image. You just go here and capture image. And what that does is save this workspace right here of the position and the object you have. If you want to modify any materials or any appearances, you can do so using the family tree in design. But without further ado, thank you very much for coming and see you on the next one.